Good day, everyone. What does it mean to be born with Jupiter squaring your midheaven? So Jupiter is about expansiveness, luck, good fortune, abundance, inspiring the world, inspiring others, reaching for the stars. And the midheaven is our career and our reputation. And Jupiter squaring the midheaven is an aspect where you could have self-worth issues around your career. You could have all the talent in the world. You could be the most educated person. You may come from abundance and good fortune. You may have multiple degrees. You could be a doctor or a lawyer. You could speak four or five different languages. You could be a worldwide inspirational speaker. But, but, if you let the square come in and block you, you will find that It can be challenging to get to where you're trying to go. And so it's kind of one of those aspects where you know how they will say, well, gosh, a lot of really wealthy people are not happy. So why aren't they happy? Is it? the roadblocks they put in their life? Are they roadblocks from others? Is it, what is it? Right? Our own roadblocks we put into our life block us from, you know, from exceeding our our potential. You know, we're here on the planet to shine, to thrive, to be the best version of ourselves we can be. And when we square ourselves in this case, the struggle can feel real. And so with this aspect, you want to always be mindful when you have those energies that creep up on you like, gosh, am I really worth it? And I can't do it. Or maybe I need to table this or Uh, You know, success is for him or for her. It's not for me. Oh, this person is roadblocking me. Uh, You know, whatever it is that's squaring you, the struggle within you, kick it to the curb because, of course, you are worthy of the best and the greatest potentials in the world and you can tap into that zone of expansiveness and luck and good fortune Just like everybody else, the world, the universe is abundance. There is enough to go around. Don't let the square take you out of the equation. Jupiter square midheaven. Am I worthy of great things? And of course, the answer is always yes. I'll talk to you soon.